This is Shamim Khan from IPL Television. It's indeed a huge honor and deep privilege to have in our studio a very special guest. Honorable Member of Parliament Abdul Mateen Khosru, Honorable Chairman, Parliamentary Standing Committee, Ministry of Law, Justice and Parliamentary Affairs, and a senior advocate of the Supreme Court. Sir, we have been addressing a lot of issues for the last two days. And the issues uh, that uh, were on the agenda, like environment issues, gender inequality, women empowerment, climate risk reduction, sir. So what is your uh, take on these? There are various issues we have been discussing for the last two days, and these are very effective uh, discussion we have made, uh, mainly on security question, our health, water, um, education, these things. So there are many problems which are common. And it's a wonderful uh, achievement for Bangladesh. We are holding this conference very peacefully in spite of so many threats from so many corners about uh, terrorism, threat, uh, extremism. But the reason is uh, we are proud of the fact that our people of Bangladesh, the common people are very much peace loving. Terrorism cannot grow, cannot flourish without the support of some power of some people. Our people, irrespective of um, faith, politics, they are all united so far security and peace is concerned. Our people are by nature very peaceful. And that is the thing. And at the present moment, all over the country and around, in the global, it has become a global issue of the terrorism. All of a sudden, nobody knows when these sorts of things will happen. And possibly some uh, terrorist group tried to threaten this conference. This is the largest ever uh, conference held in Bangladesh. Uh, so many countries, about uh, so many delegates uh, from all over the world has come. It's not CPU, IPU, inter-parliamentarian. Delegates have come from all over the world, well attended. Uh, and they, they are uh, discussing things, moving freely uh, and fearlessly. We have possibly overcome fear hmm, by bondage and of our friendship. So this is a very effective, fruitful conference in the way that we are the, it is the assembly of the representatives of the people. Our main duty is to, uh, is to, uh, exp uh, is to present the grievances um, of the people. Uh, we are the voice of the voiceless people. We are the people uh, to, to speak on behalf of the unheard people who cannot speak, who doesn't have any forum. Yesterday, our Honorable Speaker of Bangladesh, Shin Sharmin Chaudhary, was speaking about the helpless people who has got no forum to speak, who has got no uh, scope to represent their grievances. Uh, some are hungry, some are without Medicare, but these are the, these are the, but we are the people on their behalf. Yeah, Parliament is the platform. Parliament is the platform. It is a place for debate, discussion, and decision. And today, uh, we are going to take decision uh, how to mitigate poverty, extreme poverty, illiteracy, and healthcare. Uh, you see, uh, till today, there are many parts uh, uh, in the world uh, who are starving without any Medicare and suffering from different crisis, types of crisis. Look at Syria, hundreds and thousands of people uh, have to leave their own home. The, where, where they go? All over in Venezuela and many other countries. So how to address these issues? By this debate and discussion, not by use of arms. So we want to say here that military, military solution is no solution. We have to go deep to the matter. What is the root causes of these sorts of terrorism in Syria or any other country, any, any, any other parts of the world? So we have to uh, do justice uh, to the oppressed people. So justice is the main answer. If there is no answer, people become automatically violent. They may not have anything. They become violent from within. They may not have arms, they may not have weapons, nothing. But from their own, they become violent to resist this sort of injustice. So the powerful the um, people think that, oh, they are helpless people, what they can do. The history has proved 
these helpless, bastard people sometimes can become more violent. That can silence, that can silence the arms, cannons or like, you know, these sorts of weapon. Having your background, what is the extra input in the parliament? See, I'm pa sure there is. Oh, there is. Uh, in the parliament is a place where we can discuss all these problems, bad and good. And Parliament is the place for policy making, for law making, time fitting law. law. You are law making. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so law is not though everything. Uh, however stringent the law might be, but we must go deep to the matter. What are the root causes? We must mitigate the those those causes first. So we must address the problem first. We must hear them. We have to hear the unheard. Main thing is democracy, we must hear the unheard. Who doesn't have any say? You go to the slums, look at their life, they have got no say. They are the equally respectable citizens of this country. We have to make them valuable citizens. At the very beginning, I would like to congratulate IPU TV because such a big event has been covered very successfully by IPU TV. And our Honorable Prime Minister has inaugurated IPU TV yesterday and within this a small uh, experience, say, maybe, but you have covered, you have, you have very successfully covered this program, and it is a great achievement. M morning shows the day, huh? so your beginning is very good. We welcome you. I, I hope you are something. Someday you will uh, achieve the international standard of uh, television. Huh?